On this project, I'm going to talk about debugging an App Engine Flex Java project in Eclipse. So I'll start out with importing the Hello World servlet pr project. Then I'll install the Run Jetty Run plugin so I can use that to debug the Hello World servlet. Once that's done, I'll show a little bit about the breakpoint stack and variable inspection. So to get going, I'm going to go to the guide, the Google guide, which is a quick start for Java. And I'm going to copy the git clone command. And I'm looking for this getting started project. So I've already copied it. Let's go to the terminal. And I'm going to paste it into the terminal and clone it into a local, direct, local directory on my laptop. Once that's done, I'm going to set up Eclipse and import port this project. So now that it's done importing, let's go to Eclipse. We'll import the project. It's a Maven project, so I'm going to look for existing Maven. And if you don't see that, just search for Maven. It'll filter down the Maven. Existing Maven projects, I'm going to click Next. Once that, I'm going to look for that repo, that repository, and that project that downloaded. And that's in my training directory. And I'll go get getting started Java. And here it is, Hello World Servlet. So I'm going to open that. It's going to tell me that this project has a palm. That's a good sign. We'll select import. And it's got a couple issues with plugins, and we'll resolve those. Resolve all later. Finish. And we'll click OK. So once it's done importing, it adds it to the Project Explorer. And I'm just going to look at the directory format. And it has an issue with the Maven, or the Maven configure had an issue with setting up the project. This should be the source folder, and the other two shouldn't be a source folder. So SRC shouldn't be source, so we'll look at that. So first, there's an error in the palm. So we'll look at solving that issue first in the palm. Now, if you look in the palm, there's a parent or a parent directory, and I'm going to comment this out because we don't have the parent imported or configured. So once that's done, I'm going to go to right click on the, the project. This should bring up the context menu, and I'm looking for Java build path. Once I get to the Java build path, I'm going to remove the source path because it didn't set up correctly, or the Maven configurator didn't set it correctly. So I'm going to remove that. OK, so now it's removed. I'm going to just verify or have the Maven configurator running over it again. It should run correctly this time because there's no errors in the palm. And I'm going to select that project. Select OK. So here, source main Java. That's the source folder I want. And here's Hello World Servlet. So now that we're set up, we have a Hello World Servlet. And then an annotations actually configuring the web XML to to load this hello world on the root of the app. So if we look at source main web app, which is the web app or resource directory, and here's the web XML, which is the, the behavior descriptor for the server. So you can tell the server how to give it directions here or tell it how to run the server with, with commands. You can give it servlets, but instead the annotation is providing the directions. So now that we have it set up, how do we debug the project? I'm going to use Run Jetty Run to debug the project. Before that, i got to get it installed. So I'm going to go to the Eclipse Marketplace. Once I'm in the Eclipse Marketplace, I'm going to search for Run Jetty. Run Jetty. This should filter the results down to the, to the plugins I'm looking for. And I'm only looking for one plugin at this point. So Run Jetty 1, 1, 3, 4 at this time. By the way, I've already favored it. I recommend or suggest having you favorite it. It's like throwing a log on the developer's fire for contributing. And the next step, I'm going to go into install. It's going to suggest I'm going to install all the server runtimes, uh, Jetty 9, Jetty 8, and Jetty 7. It's always handy just to have them available, at least for me. Uh, you may not need them, so just go ahead and skip them. And I'm going to say select OK on the license, OK for restart or install and then restart. The project will restart Eclipse after it's installed. So Eclipse has started back up and it should have the Run Jetty Run features. And the way we know that is we're going to click on the project itself and right click on it, go debug as Run Jetty. This should automatically start up the Jetty Launcher, create the Jetty Launcher. 
and with the default configs. And so it's running on all the I, private IPs and 8080, or, or I should say all the IPs it's bound to, and it's bound to port 8080. So we can check that by going to the browser and we can go localhost 8080, and there's an issue. So let's see what that is. So if we go back, we can go up. It has a context path. It's added hello world servlet. So let's just confirm. So we'll add hello, whoops. It replaced the whole text there. So we'll go back to the server, replace it, and run hello. So it did load hello world servlet, and so it's running correctly. So let's go back. Let's just change the context path and the debug configurations. But first, we'll go to the debug perspective. We'll stop the process. We'll go back to the Java perspective, and then I'm going to go to debug configurations. And I'm already focused on Hello World Servlet. And here's the context path. I'm going to change this to root, but before that, I want it a little wider so I can see everything. So we'll erase. Hello world servlet context path. Here's the static web app directory. Here's the port. And everything else. Oh, I want I want to run it on JD9. Okay, so I'm going to apply and I'm going to hit debug this time. It'll rerun the server process. Same port IP. So let's go back to the browser. We're going to erase this because I know it's running. All right, there we go. Localhost 8080, hello world servlet, flex servlet is running correctly. So I'm just going to minimize this screen, go back. This time I'm going to set a breakpoint and I'm going to go and return to the, the context of the browser and I'm going to refresh it. Once it refreshes, since I set a breakpoint in the request, or before it responds, it, it pauses on the break. So on the left here, we have the two processes, or one process I should say, and it is paused on the stack, hello world do get. You can see that it's paused there. Here's our server, so I'm gonna close this for the moment because I'm not using that. And I'm gonna change over to the, or expand the variables. And we can see the request variable and we can examine and evaluate all the properties that it's that's in this object. So if you look on the right, it's this is the we can disable the breakpoint. We'll resume and go back to the process or the browser and reload it. And there we go. We have localhost 8080. So let's just change it to say, let's see if it refreshes. And we'll go back to the browser, reload it. It didn't it didn't reload. Let's go. I, I saw it spin. Oh, it just took a moment longer than I would, was expecting and, and tabbed before the process. So run JD run updates the process. So let's just review the configuration for run JD run. So here's hello world servlet. We got the JD tab. We're running JD nine and the project name, the port 8080. You can run it on 80 if you want context all right so it just shifts when i focus in on that field so i'm going to create a little the context is root and here's a static web app directory and you can play with the class path variable or class path libraries you can add to the context if you want i'm not going to show how to go over that today so let's close this so that concludes this video on showing how to run jetty run the App Engine Flex project. And I'll cover more tips and tricks of how to use the, the App Engine Flex in the future tutorials or guides or video guides. And follow me for tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.